Hey data fans, Reed here. Today, we're gonna walk through an update to conditional formatting that will make it a lot easier to format via a text-based field. Now, way back in 2018, as you can see from the thumbnail here, I actually did a video on this to show you how to write a DAX measure to convert text to a number and then apply that number to the formatting, which had a lot of extra steps. Now, you can apply it inline and make it a lot easier. The image that you see in front of you here that was formatted by each of the product categories very easily using the conditional formatting menu. So we will go ahead and hop into Power BI, see how that's done. So let's get started. To start the conversation, I will mention that this feature is available as of the February 2023 release for Power BI Desktop. So if you do not see this feature, then you probably need to update your Power BI Desktop, which again can be found in the File and About section down here, which will show you what version you are currently running. Now, as long as that is up to date, you can select a visual, you can select a visual such as this chart that we have here, which has both product category and product subcategory. And the easy part now is all we have to do is come over to the format your visual. And this is for this visual or any other that has color formatting that can be applied to the bars, to the rows of a table. And we can come down to the column section here and notice, by the way, that I'm using the F of X button here. Now, previously, if I had wanted to format by any of the product categories, not the individual columns, I would have had to do one of two things. That previous video that I did almost five years ago now, which you used to have to create a measure to do this, or you would have to do show all, and you would have to turn on every single one of these to the color. So you'd have to apply this at the product subcategory level, which is a lot of applications to have to put into this. So we can do a simpler method to achieve this. That f of x symbol opening that up here, we can apply a format style of rules and based off of the product category, it's simply going to grab the first or last, which either way doesn't matter because any subcategory only has a single product category, but this was not an option previously. Before, what field should we base this on could only be based off of numerical fields or date fields. So now we can actually use text fields and we can apply rules where if is, and we type in the name of the category in here, we can also use contains or any other text type operator to compare the values. And then we simply specify the color. So there are a few rules that I did create to put this in to create this effect, but compared to applying it at the subcategory level, this was a lot faster to be able to create. And then as soon as that's done, you click apply, it automatically applies that to the visual. So I really like the ability to be able to do this built in. And I love it when a feature comes out that lets me update a topic from a previous video. We've gone from something that used to require a measure to achieve this effect now, to a very simplified interface using the standard conditional formatting input that we saw in the video. I'd love to see if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions about the video. Feel free to drop that into the chat down below. If you like this video, check out some of our related videos as well. And otherwise, I will see you in our next video.